Welcome to PNB's online guide for initiating electronic direct deposit of your pension benefit. We're grateful you're taking this step, and we're convinced it will make your life a bit easier. With electronic direct deposit, your monthly pension benefit goes directly into your bank account. This has several advantages over receiving your check by mail. Your pension payment is transferred to your bank electronically. It's fast. The deposit arrives at your bank in a timely manner, whether you're at home or out of town. And it's safe. There are no checks to get lost, stolen, damaged, or forgotten. You avoid trips to the bank, which is a big help when the weather is really hot or cold. Additionally, it saves us the time and money it takes to create and mail paper checks. That's money that can be used for other purposes for those we serve. Now let's get started on the form that will make this possible. By the way, if you've downloaded this form from pbusa.org or received it via email, you can fill it out with your computer. Simply click any box to check mark it or click in a text field and start typing. As you watch me fill out this form, I'm going to pretend to be a minister named Edward A. Retiree who is a basic pension plan participant. When you fill out the form, remember to provide your information instead of what you see me doing. You'll notice that the title on the form is Pension Service Request. I know that's a bit confusing, but it really is the form for electronic direct deposit of your pension benefit. See over here? Several forms are available for making other choices about your pension plan, insurance, and other matters, but this is the one you need to have your monthly checks sent directly to your financial institution. Right below the title are four checkboxes. Select the one adjacent to the plan or plans that apply to you. They are the Basic Pension Plan, the General Church Pension Plan, the World Mission Pension Plan, and the Nazarene Bible College Pension Plan. Reverend Retiree receives a Basic Pension Benefit, so I'll check that box. Further down the form, the first fill-in-the-blank line is Bank Name. This is where you put the name of the bank, credit union, or whatever financial institution you use. It might be Citibank, People's Bank, Capital Federal, or something else. Reverend Retiree banks at a fictitious bank named the Nazarene Minister's Bank. So I'll enter that name in the blank. If you're using a computer, you can use the tab key to go to the next fill-in blank, or you can click it with your mouse. In the phone number blank, put the phone number of your bank. Don't use your personal phone number here. You'll provide that later. For Reverend Retiree, I'll put in the phone number for the Global Ministry Center. 913-577-0500. The city, state, and zip blanks here also apply to your bank. If you bank with some large national banking institution, Provide the city, state, and zip of the branch you use. For the Nazarene Minister's Bank, and remember, this is pretend, I'll use the city, state, and zip for the GMC. Lenexa, Kansas, 66220. The transit slash ABA number is the numerical identification of your bank. By the way, ABA stands for the American Bankers Association. This number is also known as the routing number. You should get this nine-digit number from your bank. Usually, you'll find it here on your check. But this might not be the correct number for direct deposit at your bank. For example, I bank with Bank of America. The routing number for my direct deposits is not the number printed on my checks. I found this out a few years ago when I filed my taxes. So be sure to check with your bank for this number. Just ask them for the correct routing number for direct deposit. I'll put in a fake number here. Notice that there are nine spaces for the nine digits. For account number, insert your bank account number. It's printed on the bottom of your checks in the funny looking type right here. Or, 
you can find it on your monthly statement. Additionally, you can help us by sending a blank voided check with this form. Write void in large letters across the check, but don't obscure your name or the numbers across the bottom. For Reverend Retiree, I'll put in a pretend account number. The bank account name or names blank has confused some people. In this blank, you should write the names of the people on the account. Most likely, this will be you and any other names printed on the check. Please note that we cannot send a pension benefit to a business, like, say, a nursing home or an extended care facility. The recipient must be an individual. Reverend Retiree and his wife, Ann, have a joint checking account, so I'll type Edward A. and Ann J. Retiree. The next step is to check the appropriate box to indicate whether this is a checking or savings account. You can select only one of these boxes. Reverend Retiree's account is a checking account, so I'll check that box. The bottom section of the form is where you tell us about yourself. These are all pretty easy to figure out. Type or print your name, your social security number, your mailing address, your home phone, see I said we'd get back to that, and today's date. You won't be able to type on the participant signature line. I'll fill in the information for Reverend Retiree. Name is Edward A. Retiree. Social Security number is 987-65-4242. Home address is 123 Main Street, any town, USA, 00000-0000. Home phone is 123-456-7890. Today's date is, well, you put in today's date when you complete the form. There we go. All filled out. Once you've finished with your form, review the highlighted items. If you have the computer version open on your screen, those items are highlighted in yellow. If you have the printed version, the highlighting might be yellow or it might be gray, depending on whether or not it was printed with a color printer. Here's a quick checklist. Be sure you check all the boxes that are pertinent to you as a plan participant. Be sure you've obtained the nine-digit transit routing ABA number from your bank and have entered it on the form. Be sure to include a blank voided check. And be sure you've signed the form in ink. If you're using a computer to complete the form, just print the form after it's completed and sign it. Then send the form and the voided check to Pensions and Benefits USA. Our address is in the box at the bottom of the form. You may also fax it to us to save time. Our toll-free fax number is 800-334-0634. Usually it takes about 24 hours for us to process your form once we receive it. After that, you can sit back and relax. Your pension payment will arrive automatically in your account every month. Thanks for using electronic direct deposit and for taking time to watch this session.